Hey lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids. It is about to be 80 degrees today and I feel like it's going to be the perfect time to get out and start doing some work in the balcony garden. I started trying to replace some of my soil and refresh it about two weeks ago but we got hit with more cold weather here in East Tennessee and it started frosting and things like that. Surprisingly some of my wild wildflowers have already started sprouting but I didn't want to risk planting any vegetable seeds at the time. I feel a little more comfortable now that I can see in the forecast that the temperature is supposed to be 60 degrees and up for the next couple weeks at the very least. As a refresher last July I started my first balcony garden when I moved to Tennessee and that was a huge learning experience for me so I'm really excited this year to apply a lot of the lessons that I learned from just making sure I'm fertilizing my soil and even this year I've already started refreshing my soil and figuring out how to incorporate more nutrients and being really specific about when I'm planting certain things. Am I growing this as a transplant or directly in the pot? These are things I did not really have the knowledge or know how to consider last year that I'm gonna be exploring this year. Since I'm starting so early this year, I'm really happy that I'll have the opportunity to do a lot more trial and error. Last year, if things went wrong, it was really hard to save my produce versus this year. I feel like if anything goes wrong from the seeds to the soil, I'll have plenty of time to correct it and hopefully still have time for a late summer or fall harvest. I refrigerated my seeds from last year so we're gonna see if those work before I start buying any more of the ones that I planted last year and then I did do a little bit of a garden call recently just to get some more um, pots to start off some of my seeds I found these plastic containers at uh, Dollar Tree along with some of these little herb pockets and stuff they have there so again I just want to make sure I'm giving myself a chance to experiment and really take advantage of the extra time that I didn't have last year. Last year I found that setting daily goals in the garden was really helpful for myself. So today my goal is to prep soil in more of my pots and then I'm also going to go through my seeds that I have and mark down which ones are going to be ready for planting directly in soil in late March and early April so I can start working on those in the next couple of weeks. All the other seeds I'm not going to worry about until the next gardening day. So I took some notes on my trusty iPad so I can map out what I'm working on today versus two weeks from now versus stuff I don't need to worry about for like another month. I also made note of things I need to be starting indoors like as soon as possible. So after working on this list, the things that I'm going to be focused on over the next two days are parsley, basil, Swiss chard, radish, and spinach. Um, and then next week I'll probably um, start on my beans. And then after that, I just need to get started on stuff that really needs to be getting worked on indoors for the next four to eight weeks, starting to sprout a little bit so that will be strong enough to endure um, when I transplant them a little bit later. So that is the game plan and I'll see y'all outside. All I'm doing in these clips is adding old soil that seemed to have good, healthy produce last year, no infestations or anything adding new fresh soil to that fertilizer, a little bit of perlite, and then I am adding my seeds so I can start my herbs in these pots here. I wanted to show more of the planting and getting my soil ready in this video. However, the wind has been extremely disrespectful today in a way I did not anticipate. <laughs> Tripod was going all over the place. Contacts are probably going to be brown because of the amount of dirt that was thrown into my eyes. So it's been rough <laughs> for the last couple of hours. We probably won't have more exciting updates until the summer months anyway when things are really growing and thriving. But I wanted to show you all the beginning stages because I didn't really capture that last year. What does brainstorming look like, planning look like, researching look like? While I wasn't on camera, I was actually watching YouTube videos and tutorials on how to plan and things like that, which I highly recommend. It was super helpful last year and at this point I just would like to consume as much information in this area as possible to make sure I have a successful season of growing. So yeah, if you all want to see any specifics about the balcony garden in the future, make sure you drop that in the comments as well as any other videos that you would like to see. I have been super busy with photography um, and starting my Smoky Mountain sessions 
these last couple months but april should be a little more calm for me and i'm hoping to get a little bit more content up so with that said i hope to see you lovely ladies gorgeous chance and crazy kids soon candy loves you